Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Do you back to Sonyeri Olani Afonja? He's one of the most successful actors that we have in the Yuba sector of Nollywood. He's a comic actor and he's easily mentioned in the top 10 richest actors in the entire country. But then for this actor, he says that his biggest investment and best investment ever are his children. Just a while ago, we heard of this man separating from his wife it was actually the wife that granted an interview and spoke about their separation some years ago sonyeri had relocated his entire family to canada his wife and his kids while he stayed behind in nigeria to work and occasionally visits them in canada he had gotten married at the age of 31 this was in 2007 and he, he was already active in the movie industry though he had not made it big when he finally settled with his wife. As Ellen mentioned, Omola Rassan's wife shocked Nigerians when she revealed that they had been separated for close to a decade. Sorry, his marriage before then had been envy of many, many Nigerians talk about saying his wife, saying his kids, especially when a video of the kids popped up on social media when they were talking about their father's movie. And so many people were shocked at the fluency of those kids. They speak so well. Nigeria started praising Sonari and his wife for a job well done. However, his estranged wife Omolara then came to the Instagram to confess that they had been co-parenting for nine good years. It has not been easy to maintain cordiality for the kids' sake. Omolara in what seemed to be a shocking post warned the public to desist from interfering in their lives. Sharing details about her separation from the husband she had written to the general public, this is to clarify some misconceptions concerning my marriage and private life. People need to be mindful of being judgmental. Two adults, especially the ones with kids, can decide to maintain a cordial relationship for the sake of their children. It doesn't mean they don't know what they are doing. Not everyone wants the media in their private lives as such. People should endeavor to mind their business. I mean, having been single for exactly nine years and co parenting with my ex husband hasn't been all bed of roses. For us, even if we are no longer living in the same country, I still do well to perform my wifely duties and what's expected of a single mother and a woman with kids. Also, it does same duties and fatherly rights for our children. If in all of this you choose to be insensitive, please don't bring it here. Henceforth, I won't tolerate anyone interfering in my private life. I choose happiness over drama, and so be it. Thanks. I remain Omolara Olaya Chima. So she has reverted back to her maiden name. Many of their fans are shocked because Sonheri speaks so well about his family, his wife, and the kids. Even in an interview, which was less than a year ago, with Punch newspapers, when he was asked about fatherhood and what it meant to him, the man had said fatherhood means that being the head of the home, a husband to wife, a father to children, and fulfilling the obligations and responsibilities that are due to a man to his wife and children. And he also stated that he was 31 years old when he got married in 2007 on if he was particular about the sex of their first child. He said that I know he was not particular about the sex of the child, even though his kids are now boys, two boys, and if he had pressure from the family or society before becoming a father, in his words, all parents want their children to settle down on time. The parents' intention might not be seen in a good light by the child, but they parents believe that children come with good fortunes and all that's required to take care of them, the children come with it from heaven. Parents usually want something good for their children, but if a man considers that if he takes that step to start a family, he won't be able to meet up with the responsibilities. It's best for him to apply wisdom in managing the pressure coming from parents till he feels capable of starting a family. I'm not saying that it's compulsory for one to be rich before he gets married, but one should have a job and God will bless the works of his hands. But for someone who doesn't have a job or handiwork and expect that God will make things work out for him, it's not that God cannot make it work out, but the person hasn't done it the right way. If one wants to build a house, at least you will have to buy land first. The first thing for a man is to have a job at hand. It's after having a job when the man has attained financial independence that he can consider taking a wife and children will follow. As the responsibilities keep increasing, God can true that also increase his finance and source of income and make it more stable and he will live a comfortable life. That's my opinion. On how he felt when he first welcomed the child, the first child. According to him, there is nothing special about one having the first child. But someone who needs a child and has a wife, 
when God gives them the gift of the first child, they will be happy and full of joy. And the person will see himself as one blessed. And it should be the beginning of goodness. Children are gifts. And those that receive them should be grateful. And on if he, he actually assisted his wife in any form when she was pregnant, the condition of pregnancy is the handwork of God and is unsearchable. There is nothing one can do than to assist one's partner when she is pregnant. You have to give her a rest of mind and one will have to be more caring, ask her how she feels and all that. But what father would have thought son here there is nothing else that teaches one as individual priorities differ. Some like to always have new outfits and change their wardrobe from time to time, while others, their priority is to build houses from place to place. For some others, buying cars is their priority, or for another set of persons, their priority is their children. For me, I believe that the best investment I can make in life is for my children to be successful. I can't jeopardize their future for anything. Either I have much or otherwise, I will do everything within my capacity to ensure that my children will not have any cause in the future to abuse me or describe me as an irresponsible father. On the things that fatherhood has prevented him from doing, fatherhood does not translate to the fact that one should stop doing things he does. If one decides to stop behaving the way he used to behave because he now has children, one gives one the assurance that the nemesis won't catch up with the children in the future for the things that he had done in the past. As I said before, it depends on one's priority. If your children are your priority, you will do everything within your power to ensure that they are successful. If I got married and had children, I didn't have the habit of drinking alcohol and doing shady deals. So there is nothing that I did in the past that father prevented me from doing now. And then he also spoke about his parents on how they have been married and still married till this day and divorce is not encouraged. According to him, we have different experiences based on our various backgrounds. In the family where I was born, divorce is not encouraged. My mother and father were always together. We have Yanni and Babani. The example they have set for me is that I can't decide to tell my wife that I'm done with my marriage because my father never set such an example for me. The Bible said we should raise our children in the way that they will give us peace. If they act wrongly, I call them to order. In Nigeria, one can afford to beat a child, but it is not allowed abroad. To call a child to order abroad, one must have a way of talking to them and all that. Sometimes words hurt more than beating the child. There are many ways one can correct a child, especially abroad. The culture there holds that you cannot beat a child, but at least we can talk to them. And there is no way the words will hurt them to the extent that there will be physical marks on their body and the authorities there will accuse you of child abuse. But sometimes it's the parents that offend the children and sometimes we have to be the ones to apologize to them where we inconvenience them. But this was part of the things that we reviewed in the interview. So according to this actor, divorce is not encouraged and his parents are still together. And then the wife dropped the bombshell just so much ago that they had been separated for good nine years. This actor has done so well for himself in his career. In fact, he's one of the richest as earlier mentioned and his net worth has been estimated to be between $350,000 to $500,000. However, when it comes to hours and cars, it does not flaunt this on social media platforms. We have come to the end of this episode. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.